Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm discussing arthritis pain impact on the body. Stick around to the end to see the best natural remedies. Let's get started. Does arthritis cause swelling? Arthritis is a condition characterized by pain. The first thing that comes to mind when someone mentions arthritis is usually old people with aching joints or painful wrists and knees. The truth of the matter is that arthritis affects young adults too. Whatever the case may be, pain is the common denominator that all sufferers have to endure. Arthritis Pain Impact Arthritis sufferers may often find that they feel stiff and their joints constantly ache. It could be a nagging backache or a shoulder that hurts so much that it feels like your arm is going to drop off. Maybe your neck is always feeling tight and in knots no matter how many neck stretches you do. All of these are warning signs that you may have arthritis. Arthritis can spread all over your body and affect several joints, so you must pay attention to the warning signs and see a doctor early. Do not adopt a lackadaisical attitude and dismiss the pains as general aches that will go away on their own. It's easy to assume that these pains are part and parcel of old age. In reality, you might be suffering from arthritis. Arthritis not only affects the old and young, but both genders are just as susceptible to this disease. Arthritis does not discriminate against gender, race, age, or nationality. Millions of people around the world suffer from it. This is not a problem that should be ignored. Arthritis can be summed up in one word, inflammation. Inflammation of the joints to be specific. While there are hundreds of types of arthritis, almost all joint pain from arthritis is due to inflammation. So, does arthritis cause swelling? It's the opposite. Swelling, or inflammation, causes arthritis. Arthritis pain can either be acute or chronic. Generally, most people consider the chronic pain to be the worst. The good news is that acute arthritis pain is temporary and usually only lasts a few days or a few weeks. Different forms of arthritis may cause pain that is acute. The bad news is that most types of arthritis cause chronic pain. With chronic pain, you can expect it to last much longer and it's usually recurrent. Sufferers dread the pain and consider it as torture. The pain can last for days or even years. In some unfortunate cases, the pain can last a lifetime. This chronic pain is the most dreaded symptom of arthritis and depending on the severity of the condition, it can be so debilitating that the sufferer is almost permanently disabled. Every individual has a different pain threshold. Since the ability to handle pain varies from individual to individual, it is extremely difficult to accurately predict just how much pain a sufferer is feeling. Some people can still function normally despite the pain. They grimly bear the pain and go about their daily work. Others may drop all work and rest even if it's just mild discomfort or pain. It all depends on the individual. Currently, no one has found a cure for arthritis yet. The best way to deal with arthritis pain is to eat a clean diet to reduce chances of inflammation. Exercises such as yoga, stretching, and Pilates may help to boost circulation in the joints. You may use moist heat or cold treatments to reduce swelling. Your doctor may also prescribe over-the-counter pain medication such as aspirin, ibuprofen, midol, or Tylenol. Make sure you only consume the medicine you have been prescribed. Your medication will need to be anti-inflammatory in order to not worsen your condition. You may also try some ginger. It's a great anti-inflammatory. I prefer it fresh, but be forewarned. It's hot. Spicy hot. Instead, you can slice off a chunk of ginger, crush it with a meat tenderizer, and then put it in a glass of hot water for ginger tea. There are some studies showing ginger to be effective at reducing symptoms of osteoarthritis. Turmeric is also a great anti-inflammatory, although you must take it in capsule form to get the benefits. The curicum must be extracted to be effective. Hello again. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my new videos. If you'd like my free report, Alternative Medicines and Therapies, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.